Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to find the distance between two points. So this is something you need to know for A-level, but it's also really useful because in the next video in this playlist, which is going to be equations of circles, this is going to be really important to know. So it's worth watching. So let's start off by looking at an example. So here we have two points. We've got one given by the coordinates 4, 3, and the other point given by the coordinates 12, 8. And so we want to find the distance between them. So by that, I just mean if I was to draw a line directly connecting the two, like so, how long is that line? And at the minute, I don't know. So I'm just going to give it some distance and I'll call it D, right? And we're going to try and work out what D is equal to. So how do we do it? Well, it's actually really easy and there's no new maths involved. In fact, we're just going to use Pythagoras. And so the first thing I'm going to do is construct a right angle triangle. And I'm going to do that by drawing a line going straight down like this and another one that goes across like this. And you can see here, this is my right angle triangle. So if I could find the two missing side lengths, I'll call them x and y for now, I could say that x squared plus y squared is equal to d squared. And therefore that would then, I could rearrange and find the value of d, right? Which is what we want. So how do we find the values of x and y? Well, it's actually really easy and we'll start off with our value of x. So if I go four units across in the x direction, I get to my sort of first coordinate. I'll do it in green so it's a bit clearer. This one here, okay? And if I go 12 units across in the x-axis, I get to my second coordinate over here. And so the distance of my missing side that I'd labeled x is just the difference between those two values. So I could say, well, what do I need to add on to four to get to 12? Well, it's obviously eight, and so this side length is gonna be eight. Or we could just say, well, I can do 12 subtract four. And that's a better way to think about it because later on we might not have an example that's as clear to work out or we might not have a diagram. So it's good to think about, well, I could do one of my x coordinates, subtract the other one, okay? And we're going to do the exact same logic to work out our other missing side. So here we have a y coordinate of 8, here we have a y coordinate of 3. So what's the difference between the two? Well, 8 subtract 3 is going to give me 5 and that is the length of that missing side. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I did it the other way around? So say I did 4 subtract 12 and I got negative 8. We can't have a negative side length. Well, when we do Pythagoras in a second, you'll see we're going to be squaring these numbers. So it doesn't really matter if they're positive or negative because when we square them, they're going to all come out positive, which is what we want for a length. So let's now use Pythagoras and calculate our missing side. So we can do 5 squared plus 8 squared and say that's equal to our d squared. And so we could square root both sides and we're going to get the square root of 5 squared plus 8 squared is equal to our missing side length, d. And we're not going to take plus or minus the square root because we're talking about a distance. And so we want it to be positive. And if we work it out, I'll do it on my calculator. 5 squared plus 8 squared. If we take the square root of that, we get an answer of d being equal to 9 point, say, 4, 3. So that's how we're going to do it. Now let's look at a more general case and we'll try and get a formula to calculate the distance between two points using this idea. So... Here we have one point given by the coordinates x1, y1, and we have another point given by the coordinates x2, y2. Again, gonna work through it the same way. So we wanna find this distance here. Again, I'll call it D because I don't know what it is. And again, we're gonna construct some right angle triangle like so. So this is our right angle triangle. And again, I want to find these two missing sides. We'll label them x and y for now. So how can I find the length of side x and the length of side y? Well, we'll start off with side x again. So remember what we did last time, we said, well, if I moved x unit or x1 units across, like so, we'd get to our first coordinate. And if I go x2 units across, I get to my second coordinate. And so the difference between the two is going to be the length of my missing side. So that's going to be equal to x2 subtract x1. And we can apply the same logic again to find our other missing side. And we'd get that that's equal to y2 subtract y1. So now let's just do the process we did before. So I'm going to do my x2 minus x1 squared, whoops, I didn't mean 1, I mean x1 squared, plus my y2 minus y1 squared, and I'm going to say that's equal to my missing side, d squared, which is the distance between my two points. Now I'm going to square root both sides, and we get the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared, plus y2 minus y1 all squared is equal to the distance between our two points. And this is the formula, I can put a red box around it, this is the formula that we can use to find the distance between two coordinates and hopefully it makes sense where it's coming from. So now let's use this formula to answer a question. So here we just need to find the distance between the two points negative 2, negative 5 and 5, 6. So I want one of these points to be my x1, 
uh, y1 coordinate and one to be my x2 y2 and it doesn't matter which one I want so just for convenience I'll call this my x1 y1 coordinate and this second one x2 y2 but it wouldn't really matter if we did it the other way around let's now put everything into our formula so the distance between them is equal to the positive square root of my x2 which is 5 minus my x1 which is negative 2 and that's all squared then we're going to add on to that my y2 which is 6 subtract my y1 which is negative 5 and that's all squared I'm going to take the square root of all of that let's simplify it so we're going to get the square root of 5 subtract negative 2 which is just 5 plus 2 so 7 squared plus 6 subtract negative 5 which is the same as 6 plus 5 so plus 11 squared I'm going to do that in my calculator because I don't I can't do that in my head so let's do that, square root it, and we get an answer of the distance between those two points as 13.04. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and share. I'll link the rest of my Preparing for A-Level Maths playlist in the description if you want to watch that. And if you've finished it, you can go over to my YouTube channel where I've got tons of A-Level Maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.